Hey everyone, this is Reed Felton from Accelerated Fastening. Uh, some of you have already gotten this drill buddy, and some of you haven't, but either way, we want to give you a little instruction on how to assemble it. Now, I know that most of you can look at a picture and figure it out, but we said, what the heck? Uh, it's nice to have a job site reference that you can go to and you know, use to see how to put it together. So we're going to start with what we call our, our rail bracket. And I want to point out one thing. These two little T-nuts here should start facing down. And I'm going to remove the two clevis pins. So we're going to get a close-up here. We're just going to line these up with the slots in our beam and slide them in. Now, a note for adjustment. You can slide this up or down. It's one of the two adjustments you have with this. For now, I'm going to leave it just below the top of the beam. I can eyeball this and make it nice and square. You might choose to use a square if you're more comfortable. Now, got pretty close. You can tighten these up pretty snug. You don't want it slipping. All right, that's step one. By the way, you only need two tools, a quarter inch hex wrench and a half inch box end or open end wrench. The next thing we're gonna put on is what we call the lower arm. But before we do that, just for the sake of the video, well, this is how it goes together. We're gonna flip this around so the rail bracket is facing down, all right? Once again, I'm gonna show you the detail here these four T-nuts should all be in alignment. It'll help it go in a little bit easier. So this can be a little bit tricky, but you'll get it af after a while. So again, I'm gonna put this in with this edge of the bracket facing up toward the rail bracket. So, here we go. And lean down. I got two going. It's a little putsy, but eventually we get it. All right. So that's on. Now, again, this is a second level of adjustment. You can slide this along the beam to accommodate whatever height you need when you're up in your man lift. So there's another little detail we want to show you here. This has what we call a bearing brake. And so these are ball bearings. If we didn't have something to slow them down, they'd be flopping all over the place. So you can tighten this or not tighten it. You'll find that you'll find a comfortable spot for it, I think. So I'm gonna leave this here. I'm just gonna tighten these four. This is my quarter inch hex wrench. Bend that down out of the way. It's easier. All right. So at this point, we're ready to put it on our man lift. Uh, most man lifts have an inch and a quarter rail. But here's another little detail we thought of. We give you inch and a quarter, um, inch and five sixteenths, and inch and three eighths, or inch and a half. So it's plenty of adjustment there. This particular lift we know is gonna have the second position used. So I'm gonna put that on there. I'm gonna put this out so it stays balanced when I put it on. Like so. Now, two clevis pins go in. I know that if I put it in this hole, it's too tight. So I go the next hole down, bring the clevis over to the side. Put it on, and same thing here. We're almost there. Finally, we have the other articulating arm. This bearing shaft has a hole in it, and this has another brake on it right here. So this can turn freely. What I'll do is I'll line this hole up 
with a hole in the round tube receiver right here, and I'll put the clevis pin in. Well, there it is. Got it. All right, so we're almost ready for business. I'm gonna tighten this over here, move it this way. So now this doesn't swing so easily. It'll make it a little easier to put the ratchet drill in. Took the rubber foot off. Some of these you won't have to do that. Put it back on so we don't lose it. Now, we can swing this all around and operate it from inside. Let me show you. So, do I like the height that it's at? If I don't, I can loosen these, bring this up on the rail, or I can loosen the bottom bearing housing and bring that up. So I might like it a little bit higher, but we want to show you, you can go in about, oh gosh, almost a 56 inch radius or so. So, put a drill on it, you're ready to go. Any questions, you can always give me a call, 414-881-6630. If my eyes are open, I answer the phone. Always ready to help you. Thanks.